Right then. Clutch is uh, just spongy, just going straight down to the bottom, nothing really to it. But this is how I uh, get the uh, last little bits of air out to bleed my clutch on the Volvo C30. Be under this here. That's the reservoir. And take this off down here. Oh, it's just down here on the Volvo. You don't need a spanner, it's just a plastic little bit that you have to turn. So we're just going to uh, get the um, dock four bright fluid. I need to top the um, reservoir up. And then I'll just gravity feed it for a, to get the last little bits of air out. I need the dot four and the uh, Volvo C30. Just top it up a little bit to the top. Whatever you do, you don't want to uh, spill it on your car paintwork because it will strip it off. Just get it straight off if you was to get a little bit on. Get it straight off and then get a bit of water and soapy like water and just make sure it's all off. You should be able to hold it. You don't really want it on because if it's on there for long, it'll strip it off. Push me try underneath so I'll just let it drip out. Then, the dinner eyes will open this plastic bell. You can just see him dripping out. So you can see it pushing the air out. See, it's just getting the last little bits of air out. This is a uh, dropping, so you'll need to top it back up after. Still got a few air bubbles in it. That's about it. Now, we'll go and try the um, clutch again. Smells better. I'll top him up and do him one more time. Try the brake. That smells better. Yeah, that's getting loud better now, that is. Yeah, that's loud as well. I'll give him one more little go. I'll top it up again, the reservoir. Let a bit more drip through. Yeah, there was a couple of air bubbles in then there was. Seems to just be running smooth now straight out, it does. I've just let it drop down a little bit so I've got a bit of room to shut it. I'll do it. Let's go and try this again. Just keep doing that process. Until it's done, yeah, that's it. Back. That's it now, that is. Look. It's quite hard now, that is, yeah. I'm happy with that. So that's how you bleed with the hydraulic clutches on them. And then it'll tell you what dot there, look, it says dot four. Make sure you get the dot four up, whatever one it says. Look to get on your vehicle because all the vehicles will be the same it's just some of the other vehicles you might have to get a spanner on there to undo it like <sighs> doing this with one hand is a little hard but we managed we've done it that's it I'll put my little rubber bit back on stuff it's sucking air back in it's the last thing you want is to get
That's it then. I hope it's helped someone. I mean, it took me five minutes to do it. I didn't need no fancy tools or nothing. And I've got the clutch back in the car. Yeah, that's it. I'm happy with that there. Cheers, thanks guys.